What up, Hope Biscuits? It's your girl Skitten back at it again with the weekly Twitter advice. I am here with the lovely, beautiful Dr. Chest Rockets. And wow! Wow! <laughs> wow! Uh, so I think I hate you. I literally just thought of that just now. Um, <laughs> Whoever wrote that comment, we saw it. Yeah, so I keep telling y'all, I like, I keep telling y'all, hey, don't leave weird or gross comments in the comment section because I read them. I read them. I see all the comments. Personally. I see all the comments where you say you want to smell my chair. I read all the, that was the thing. Yes, no. I, read, I read all the comments about my boobs. I read, I read all of them, okay? We saw the comments you left about her boobs. Yes, we get them. They are magnificent. Look, show the people. Now, I'm not showing the people. They're beautiful and amazing. Stop talking about them. A great decision. A good a PSA. <laughs> Seriously, I wanted to smell your chair. Look, girl, it was. Somebody asked me how often Chavez and I have sex. No, don't do that. Like That's weird. That's weird. Don't do that. Don't be that guy. Uh, that's why I put on this hat. Can you not? Can you not? I like that hat. It's a great, great hat. hat. Um, so we are here for weekly Twitter advice. Um, so we did the first part with the questions. Now we're here what Twitter has to say. We are here to hear. We are here to see what Twitter has to say about the shenanigans. I'm okay. ready. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to watch Twitter drag some people. I'm emotionally prepared. Including this hoe from questions. Always ready. She got me once. One. <laughs> All right, so this is the bitch who was sleeping with her best friends <laughs> on again, Woo! off again. You came in hot. Sorry, who slept with her best friends on again, off again, boyfriend and got herpes. And it's not like, why doesn't my friend love me? Look, th this girl said the same thing I said, the audacity of you. Honestly, she may have been embarrassed or you may tell her everything, but she doesn't tell you everything. That reminds me. I'm, I'm sorry. Thank I'm, you, Twitter I'm commenter, going, for doing this to me. I'm going to interrupt this video to have an intervention with my Stop best friend. Stop touching me. Dr. Chest Rockets. I just hate you so much. I just, I just Her want Her toes are touching me. <laughs> that was an accident, actually. That was not on purpose. No, I was laughing because you clasped my hand and your toes clasped my toes. I'm just like, you're committed. <laughs> that was an accident. I'm so sorry. It's because your toes are cold. Why are your toes so cold? Because it's cold. Anyway, Dr. Chest Rockets, I just want you to know that I want this friendship to be a two-way street. I want this moment to end, so... I just want you to know that I tell you everything. And that and this, everything. this is a safe place mm -hmm. where you can share, okay? Our relationship should be reciprocal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I just, I've been feeling lately. Just gonna take like my you're hand not back. As invested in this friendship as I am due to your unwillingness to share. I have so much to share. Okay, guys, so the other day I took a nap and I woke up and I was like, woo! Naps. <laughs> I'm just saying, right now, I'm the friend with the herpes and you're the friend with the maybe herpes. <laughs> So you're taking my man? I don't. <laughs> the point here. I don't want to have maybe herpes with you. <laughs> the point is not the herpes. The point <laughs> is your unwillingness to share. <laughs> I hate you so much. My question is, do you plan on telling her you all are herp sisters? <laughs> Oh, look, oh, but that sounds, it sounds cuter when you say it that way. Herp. We're herp sisters. What does that mean? Oh my god, what if we like introduced ourselves to people? This is Skitten and Dr. Chest What a Chester. good idea! I'm Skitten, this is Dr. Chest Rockets, and we're herp sisters. So I'm cute. I, yeah, yeah, no, you gotta, I want like a star to go oh by. My god. For the record, internet, neither one of us has herpes. Unless you have a <laughs> <laughs> um, Well, you see, 
Me and your last boyfriend. Oh you guys are on and off. Oh, you mean um, a, a Republican candidate? Oh, <laughs> for Nevada Assembly District 5. That's a long story, we'll tell you. Oh, I've laughed so hard, my head hurts. Anyways, all right, we're gonna move on to the next answer. When that karma comes and leaves a lifelong gift. Oh, New York. Excuse me, her name is Tiffany Pollard. So her name is New York. Okay, answer one. The question isn't why didn't she warn you about him? The question is why are you secretly hooking up with someone that she's involved with? Real besties don't share men unless they're, you're that kind of bestie. Okay, I'm sure that. And also there's the thruple or not. Every time, so upsetting. And also there's the chance that she doesn't know either. Are you gonna be a good friend and warn her? That's what I'm saying. Clearly she, not. She has to tell her friend. She's not going to. She didn't tell her she was sleeping with him. This says, I thought we were being, I thought we were clear on BFF rules, but women who write to SBC chat clearly need a refresher. Do not, I repeat, do not sleep with your friend's ex, current, etc. I know you're thinking, but what if? Answer is still <laughs> no. Nothing good will come from it. Sorry that being a decent fucking human being is so inconvenient for you. Wow, that bird is so judgmental. Very, I love I'm it. I'm into it. Yeah, like, this is, this is my first friend. Friendship. But not that kind of friend. Not that. <laughs> not her sister's friend. <laughs> mm. I'm just so upset. I'm gonna move on to the next question. Cause her sisters took me the fuck out. So this is the one with the couples trip where the husband was mad disrespectful and I personally think that the only option is to slip a little antifreeze in his Gatorade, but you know. Don't do that. It just adds flavor. It's, a, it's not a flavor you want. A final flavor. That's a low blow. First, can we just appreciate this woman's name? Renaissance, an unabashed deny section. Yes. 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 As we all should be. I didn't realize that that is also my sexuality. Are you it's crazy? Is this, you, is this you coming out? Is this yes. You, is this you oh my! Out? I just had an awakening. <laughs> you heard it here first. Doctor Chest Rockets is coming out during weekly Twitter fights. Chest Rock. <laughs> I'm getting. Oh my god! <laughs> I'm cutting them off. Anyways, all right. It says that's a low blow, and this man does not respect you. That. Either you two can work on it in counseling or you can lose 180 pounds of ugly, useless weight today by stopping by a lawyer's office and filing for a divorce. I support the second option. I think you guys can talk about it, you know? Love is love. This one says, well, has he been hinting that you need to lose weight? I don't agree with how he said it, but you may want to take a look at yours. Absolutely not. Are you happy with your weight? Is this a joke? Is your weight causing any health issues? Bitch. Self-reflection is key. Side note, he could have brought you some fruit. How condescending would it have been if he brought everybody else muffins and said, here's some fruit? Fuck this comment. Oh, I actually want a chocolate chip muffin. No, you need fruit. Fuck this comment. Fuck this answer. No. Who? If if my man needs to have a conversation with me about my weight, he can have a conversation with me, but he is not going to disrespect me in front of other people. For what? About breakfast? Like, damn. Didn't even ask if I wanted anything either. No. Fuck that. Fuck that and fuck you for saying that. Boom. What was my vocal exercise? <laughs> Your opinion is dumb and so are you. Yeah. This is why I was practicing. There you go. It says, girl, leave him in Vegas. I'm sure he isn't exactly looking like Travante Rose. What a choice. Mm -hmm. A choice. <laughs> a man. <laughs> Out here in these streets either. And if you felt comfortable enough to say this in front of company, I'm afraid to know what he says in private. It's time for you to go. Exactly. That's what we're saying. Your husband playing room service. Oh, look, it's Vanessa Hudgens. What? I love Vanessa Hudgens. I remember her. She's so good, you know. Your husband playing room service for his friend should have been your clap back, but I get it. <laughs> your feelings are, Jesus. Okay. And since food always helps when you're upset, have someone else deliver your coffee rolls to your room. Sis, you still gotta eat. Good luck. 
maybe have Trevante Rhodes, right? Can we start? Can we start a petition to have Trevante Rhodes bring this woman coffee and rolls? No. Why? No. Why? I want rolls. I could drink coffee. Okay, petition for Trevante Rhodes to start a national tour <laughs> of just bringing people. coffee and rolls to deserving <laughs> and single women because. I'm so sorry, Javante. He's lost. So sorry. I'm so sorry, Javante, so you know? so but I'm getting married. I'm, oh, I'm, I don't know if you've heard. I'm hey, hey, did you did you hear about the wedding? What wedding? Who's Skin, wedding? Skin's wedding. What? Skin's, get, Skin's getting married? Yeah, great. What? What? Bitch. I know it. Good for her. Whoever's marrying her is a very lucky guy. I heard he's all right sometimes. <laughs> Etsy who's in no girl, like, oh, talk, Titus. I love Titus. He said that in front of them. What kind of marriage are you are you in that your husband feels he can disrespect you like that? That is what is getting me over and over again. Like I understand like she might be, need to lose weight, she might be a little bit bigger, but the like the dis the absolute gall of this man. Audacity. The audacity. The audacity of you. Like <laughs> All right. And she's this person said those are fighting words. I'll cut you. She was so good in this parody movie. Just so good. I just didn't like the movie. No, the movie, the parody movie was bad. So when and where is the service being held? Can we send flowers? Are the flowers gonna say you deserved? That's what I said. Did he make it home and do you need an alibi? See, everyone is on the same page as me. This makes me feel so validated. Gives You're me, all going to jail. It gives me all the validation I don't get in this relationship. You were the one just holding my hand and talking about how much you love me or whatever. <laughs> Herp sisters. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to question three. I tried it again. I'm gonna get you again. I'm gonna let it go like another couple months. And I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna set a reminder. All right. This is the one who, of the lady who's competing with his dead ex. I, how do you compete with somebody who's dead? You don't. You piss on their grave? That's not. <laughs> That's not getting I you anywhere. I don't know if that'll help. I but. don't think that'll help. <laughs> All right. She doesn't realize that she's still aside. You I know. You to see oh, it. Oh, gosh. Brutal. All right. This is Vanessa Hudgens again. Hey, I've been debating about whether or not I should tell Vanessa Hudgens that she's like a celebrity on my channel. Yeah, I was about to say, cause she features. But I feel like- More than I do. I feel like she might be a little creeped out. You know, the internet is a weird and scary place. Why not? <laughs> All right, it says, I hate to kick a woman while she's down, but since you're already there, you've been competing with this woman from day one. And you've been losing. Your man has made it very clear that he doesn't want any kind of future or family with you. You can either waste another five years or you can move on. That was so nice. That was so well worded. Stop wasting your time. Really? Stop. Though, please. Look, the earth is on fire right now. We're all probably going to die soon. Like, And do you want to die in an unhappy relationship? I wouldn't. Love yourself. Please. Love yourself more than we as people love the earth. She's still the love of his life and you're still the side. His main woman is a ghost. You should ghost him as well. Clever. Clever. I like it. Gift from Virgo. He's telling you exactly how he feels. Listen to him before you end up even more hurt. Even if he one day moves on, he's telling you, you are not the one. You. You. He might move on one day. He might get over it one day, but it's not going to be with you. He might actually need to talk to somebody because she said this whole shrine thing and he's clearly not getting past this not that you know you know we all move on our own why are you face. even with, why would you even stay with him for five years of this well one of those years was so four years of this yes she only died four years ago. i understand the first year you feel bad for him you know like he's well no the first year how do you break up with somebody whose girlfriend just died that's what i'm saying you feel bad for him you know he's limp dick in his way through life you got to be there for him he's what <laughs> he's what through life he's limp dick in his way through life you know but after that like 
th what where do the other three years come in okay fair where do the other three years of you being right like you're in his house you're chilling right you walk past a picture of his dead ex-girlfriend and then you still go have sex with him how how does that not make everything shrivel up like a <laughs> like fucking sea anemone raisins in the sun there we go how uh, i would be drier than the sahara i well i mean to be fair she's been sneaking past pictures of her for the entirety of their relationship so maybe nothing right. has changed for her but even though she's dead that doesn't make it different for you i mean isn't it worse when she's alive her feelings can't be hurt now that's not rude that's not that was sincere you know what you just make me feel like a bad person i wasn't trying to it was he said her feelings can't be hurt now. I'm just saying, she's not gonna come home oh and find God. out. This person says, you've been competing with this woman in both life and death and you're still losing. You're the Maria Sharapova of this situation. Time to hang it up, sis. Move on to someone who actually wants to be with you. That's just, that's, that's rude. That was cold. But also you're not wrong. You're the Maria Sharapova. Quit. Quit while you're behind is basically what they're telling them. Wow. That was a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna end off the Maria Sharapova of I'm the gonna situation. start using that. That's so good. That's so good. Anyways, peace out, Hope Biscuits. It's getting lit. Uh, oh, also, because I know you guys are going to ask, she's not making her own channel. She's not. I, it entertains me greatly that you guys harass her. I mean, you, you probably shouldn't. You should be nice to her, but it just it tickles me. <laughs> She's not making her own. I can't convince her to make a YouTube channel. I've tried. She has not. We might make a podcast, though. Podcast! We are hilarious. We're so funny. You're welcome. Uh, what is, who is it? Uh, Kid Fury and Crystals? Crystals. We're coming for you. They're getting a TV show. So we're not coming for you. I'm so excited. But we're coming for the podcast game. No, we're not. <laughs> Peace out, hope it's good. It's getting lit.